Molimo vas, pričekajte. Hvala vam, želimo vam ugodnu i sviđu. about Zagreb begins in 11th century. First Croatian king. He was our king in 10th century, uh, and this is King Tomislav Square. So, in the north side of the park, we have beautiful, beautiful yellow buildings. So, this mm -hmm. building was built in 19th century, in the time when Croatia was part of Austria. In that time, Croatia was part of Austria, actually a part of Habsburg monarchy. And flag of Habsburg monarchy was half yellow, half black. So in Zagreb, since Zagreb developed the most in 19th century, we have more than one yellow building, which is really great, we have black buildings. Because all of the important public buildings built in that time needed to be yellow because of the flag. Mm. So this building was also built in 19th century, but actually, first we had the roof in the last metal part, because roof was built regarding millennial exhibition in the end of 19th century. So actually after the exhibition, roof was disassembled and transported to Zagreb by train, because behind us is the central railway station. So we actually had a roof, but we didn't have building, and then city decided that we need our building. So that's uh, uh, how we got this beautiful building. Uh, so now we are walking through Zelenjevac Square, first the square to the main square, and one of the most popular ones because of these huge plane trees, we call them platana. So they are making a huge shade, so during summer, uh, now when it's really, really hot, uh, here it's always uh, two or three degrees cooler than in the rest of the city, which is really great, so you can see a lot of people just playing on the grass mm -hmm. and uh, enjoying in the shade. And um, Zagreb was pronounced to be three times in a row best Christmas market. Mm -hmm. So those parts are also very famous during Christmas time. Um, that was in 2017, 18 and 19. And uh, you can imagine just a lot of Christmas light hanging over the tree and uh, with music and uh, stands where you can find the new wine. It's really, really great. Uh, but here we go. Friday night? Yes. Yeah. And drinks, of course. So always music, food and drinks. So we can come over here later. Definitely, and it's not far from your hotel, so it's really great. Welcome to Jelači uh, Square, this is the main square of Zagreb. Uh, this square was named after this lovely gentleman right before the king of our statue. Uh, so Jelači was fine for Croatia in 19th century when Croatia was part of Austria, as I told you. Uh, and you know that usually we don't love our leaders. Uh, that was the same in the history and that's the same today. Uh, but Jelači actually was fine. donate their own item with their own story. So uh, in 2010, city got them a space and they opened a museum right here. Uh, since 2010, this museum is in Zagreb. Yeah. Um, exhibition is consists of donated items from former relationships with small stories. Here you can check, it's really crowded. 
so you can see the items and below items and there is a story what happened with that relation chocolate's with interesting sayings um i will be polite still so city hall but it's only a place where people have weddings city hall where mayor sits it's in the lower part of town but i stopped here because here we have bust of nikola tesla a uh, man who uh, made our life really easy and really simple uh, so I will say a couple of words about him. Nikola Tesla was born in Croatia, in a small village called Smiljani, uh, in mountainous part of Croatia. Uh, thanks to this guy, we are living our best lives today. So in the time when Edison invented, invented the type of electricity which we are using today, uh, I always like to say to my guests, uh, please remember Tesla when you're just relaxing on your couch, when you're flipping through your TV channels, because Tesla invented remote control. So thanks to this guy, we don't need to get up and change our TV channels on TV. Farms first uh, square it's white uh, because uh, usually if you see it first square is white then that is connected with uh, fascists and Nazis during World War II. Oh. But this coat of arms on the left side of the roof um, dates um, from the beginning of uh, 19th century, so which means before that it was before years. World War I yeah. uh, and especially World War II, so it's not connected to that. So this is St. Mark's Square in the middle of the St. Mark Church, originally built in 14th century, of course renovated in 19th century, and now it's again under the reconstruction. So, of course, highlight is here. First thing you notice, it's a uh, roof. Uh, tiles are laid, so they represent two coat of arms. On the right side is coat of arms of Zagreb, which represents castle, which doors are always open and welcome their guests. And on the left side is coat of arms of Trium Kingdom of Croatia, Slavonia and Dalmatia. We had that kingdom, as I said, in the beginning of 19th century. So uh, that coat of arms has three parts. So checkerboard represents central Croatia. Three lion heads, although those animals don't, don't look like lions, I know. <laughs> but you gotta trust me, lions represent coastal part. Dalmatia. And this little animal down is Kuna. In Croatian language, uh, it's a mink or a marten. Uh, mink represents eastern part of Croatia, Slavonia. So we have neighboring country called Slovenia and eastern region of Croatia called Slavonia. Only one letter difference, a little bit tricky. Mm. Um, eastern part of Croatia, that is the part which was completely ruined during our homeland war in the 90s. Um, and um, when we are here at St. Mark's Square, we are also in the political center of Croatia. Offices and on the opposite side, we have parliament. Both buildings still in the use. And the church in the middle. Exactly, it's a temple. The war. Zagreb, uh, this part of Croatia wasn't ruined uh, in that war very much. It was uh, Zagreb was bombed a couple of times, but nothing compared to eastern uh, part of Croatia, which was completely ruined to the scratch, like Ukraine now. Uh, and uh, coastal part and mountainous part of Croatia were ruined. This part wasn't, but uh, in the 90s, this um, building was also president seat. So first time when Zagreb was bombed, this building was bombed. That's why part of the roof is brown, yeah, yeah, because of historical reasons. Uh, so Yugoslavian army tried to kill Croatian president. But from uh, 90s, this is only a uh, building for government and prime minister. President is in another place. Uh, Zagreb was bombed again at the end of the war in May 1995. Uh, that was crazy because it was kind of a revenge of Yugoslavian army because Croatian army liberated part of our territory. So since Yugoslavian army didn't arrive to Zagreb, they bombed Zagreb and the area around Zagreb. Croatian National Theater were just now was bombed. Uh, so yes, but luckily Zagreb wasn't affected that much by the war like the rest of the country. So biggest protest, because I was talking about the protest, was protest of the D-miners. Unfortunately, after that war in Croatia stayed over 3.5 million landmines. And unfortunately, Croatia is still not completely clear from the landmines. We still have some areas. So we are still clear clearing our landmines and uh, salaries of those guys were around 800 euros. They were really mad. Oh, they so... had nothing to live for. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And they're like doing the worst and most dangerous job ever. Uh, so they arrived here, they were really, really mad. And now they have salaries around 1,100 uh, euros, which is better. Yet again, not enough, but okay. Fire happened on 31st of May uh, 1731, when everything was burned, except one painting of Blessed Virgin Mary. Of course, that was miracle. The painting was here on the first floor. So now we will pass through the stone gates. Uh, inside of the stone gates, we have original painting behind the bars. Uh, you will be able to see. So if you come closer to the painting, you will see that in the left bottom corner, it's a little bit burned, but the rest of the painting is fine. And on the walls, you will see plates where it's written Hvala. You learn that Hvala means thank you. So people who come here and pray to bless the Lord Mary, if their prayer is answered, you sign up thank you. They usually put plates with Hvala in their name. Or Hvala Ti Michael, which means thank you, mother. Uh, we have 
have a lot of uh, similar statues, but this one, it's actually, uh, it wasn't any kind of uh, king or politician. He was a uh, saint. This is Saint George. So throughout whole Europe, you can see a lot of Saint George statues. Uh, this is one of the most popular symbol of Christianity. It represents fighting good versus evil. And good always wins. This statue is special because it's the only one in the world which represents Saint George after he killed the animal. He's no longer in the fight. Although this looks more like a catfish, not a dragon. Uh, but you just saw our lions on the St. Mark Church. Obviously, we have some problems with animals. This is our dragon. But the point is here, uh, St. George killed um, animal and now he pays respect under that animal. Mention Croatia without saying Croatia, I would definitely sh show you the checkerboard because our football players uh, yeah, wearing jerseys with checkerboard, checkerboard uh, and checkerboard uh, is uh, on the uh, Croatian flag, on our coat of arms, so that is definitely the most popular symbol of Croatia. Yeah. Well, it was founded in 1093, so 11th century, really long time ago, by King Laszlo, because in that time Croatia was part of Hungary. Uh, this is your hotel. Uh, this so this is King Tomislav, this is that be beautiful yellow building. So we walked this way, next to those three parks, and here you can see that green horseshoe, which I mentioned. So this is that green area, which was built in 19th century to divide the center of the city from industrial part, which was behind the central railway station. So um, behind the last uh, park, Zrinjevac, it's a main square, and there you can see cathedral, so that it's Capitol Hill. And on the opposite side is Gradec Hill, that is the upper town of Zagreb, and that is the lower town of the city center. Oh, boy. 